Hi everybody, this is Meatball here. I'm going to be trying out a homemade salsa today. Um, get this out of the way. So, this is the salsa here. Uh, it looks like you can see tomatoes and onions in there. And some peppers. So, it looks really good. Looks like there's a little bit of, with a little bit of seasoning on there. So, I'm gonna be pairing these with bite-sized Tostitos. So, let's get right into it. So, mm. 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 Yeah, this is absolutely bursting with flavor. Yeah, I believe this has cilantro on it. And something else I can't quite make out. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as far as spice levels go, I wouldn't say it's too spicy, but some people might find the taste a little overwhelming. Mm. But, mm. but for avid salsa enjoyers, I would say this would be perfect. If you have an accustomed palate, if you're used to a lot of different flavors. Mm. Yeah, this is very good. Mm. Mm. Is there anything else? Oh, oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is the Pico de Gallo. The ga so how do you say Pico de Gallo? I might be Pico butchering. De Gallo. Pico de Gallo. Mm. Okay, so tomato, onion, lemon juice, garlic, and some other ingredients that I can't make out. Yeah, I don't too frequently have salsa mixes like this, but when I do, I usually enjoy them, so. Yeah, I just want to reiterate, this is absolutely bursting with flavor. A lot of different tastes. Perfect for parties, I would say. So yeah, pick up some of this wherever you can find it, at your local grocer or local food market. Yeah, perfect for, I would say it's the perfect snack.